At this time of year, when I'm looking for perch, I tend to look for shoaling fish, um, especially that they've been spawning recently. Uh, you, find the, you find the roach, uh, you tend to find the perch not too far behind, or just predators in general. Um, overhanging trees, again, typical place, great cover for the perch to hang underneath, uh, perfect ambush points, and as well, so as uh, lily pads at this time of year, another great cover. Um, you've got your reed lines, typically down the side of the reed lines, um, but don't be too scared to come off the reed lines a little bit, try it on the sides. Um, shelves, um, natural shelves in lakes, especially pits like this, um, I tend to use a jig head uh, as a depth finder. I tend to fish around nine foot mark, um, no deeper than that this time of year because prey fish aren't going to be much further down than that. And again, the perch will follow the, the, the prey fish. As a general rule, when I'm fishing in new water, I'll start with some smaller, smaller stuff from Fox, which is your little micro shad, little tiddler fasts, and your little paddle tails. I use these to try and find the smaller fish first. Um, I think if you find the smaller fish, um, the big fish are not too far behind. Once I've had a few smaller fish, I'll then start to use the much larger range of the fox lures. Um, Again, and then I think they will definitely catch you the bigger fish, for sure. At this time of year, the perch really want the chase. So I tend to put on lures, such as these two, the Skinner and the Rattling Hornet, which I can retrieve at a much higher rate. The Salmo skin allows me to work this straight over top of weed, dive to a maximum of about two feet, and the nice tight flanking action on the skinner really makes the uh, perch attack aggressively. The Salmo Hornet, again, very loud in the water, huge rattles, um, agitates, the, agitates the perch to strike. So, tight little swimming action, great little air from Salmo, give it a go.